So you're saying that right here, sewage comes and fills this area that yeah. I'm standing on? Does it? Yeah. And then it goes. Raw sewage. It'll make a lake at her house. It comes up from the up from the tub and up from the toilet, and it'll flow out, and then it's everywhere in my house. For eight years, I was in my house, and when I lived in El Mirage, mm -hmm. and I never came out. You didn't? No. Are you serious? Yeah. Walk your dog all the time? Oh, at least two, two three times a day. Oh, yeah. She's uh, not a service dog. She's an emotional support dog. Keeps me from panicking, from having panic attacks. You have panic attacks? Yeah. Do you? Why? Because I had anxiety issues and all that sort of thing. Deborah, so when you say that you never came out, describe that to me. Are you speaking of you never walked out the front door? No, never walk out the front door. Um, I would open the back door from her, because I had a dog then too, and she would um, go out the back door. But, um, and I would go in the garage because it smoked there. But for eight years, you stayed inside the house, never stepping a foot outdoors. No, I, I just didn't like the idea. And now I still have an issue with picking up my mail, answering the phone. Uh -huh. I have a problem with that. Do you? Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm happy that you just came out. You have an emotional support dog. Yeah. Does she help you? Yes, she does. I haven't had a panic attack since I've had her. How long have you had the dog? Almost four years. So four years ago, you were having those uh, panic attacks? Yes, yeah. I had to lay down straight on the floor, not on a couch, not on a chair, flat on the floor. And then BB. Now, if I ever do that, which I don't, she um, gets on me. Here in Glendale, this, this particular location, I do know that they accept Section 8, mm -hmm. uh, Home Inc., mm -hmm. and then also you said another one. Uh, they do subsidize, subsidize income here as well. Well, yeah, they, they, Home Inc. has them, you know, it goes through Home Inc., mm -hmm. my subsidi, subsidi, subsidy. It goes through Home Inc., and I pay 30% of my income. Are you on a fixed income? Yes, twelve twenty-five a month. Twelve twenty-five a month. That's not a whole bunch. No. It, does your But my rent's very low. Your rent is what, probably like four hundred? Yeah. Uh four hundred well, I think it just went up this time. Maybe it's right at five hundred. Five hundred? Yeah. So they went up on you, they gave you an increase? Yeah. So this is the Basically the parking area? And yeah, everything. there's another one on that side too. So you could park anywhere that you want? Yeah, there there's, you, no, there's no sign. Utilities included here? Yes, which is very nice because then, you know, you don't have to fret about getting the bills out. I just go and pay, pay the manager and that's it. Do you have a car? Yes. I, I um, have lived here for like five years and I just started saving pennies. When you say that you were uh, that you just started saving pennies, do you mean that literally? No, yeah, well, kind of, but change. I change. I'd save like, okay, I've got five dollars I didn't spend, the, you know, that I don't need, mm -hmm. or I even like two hundred dollars. Gotcha. You no, know, because I don't need a lot. I found that too, Deborah. In my age now, I feel the exact same way. It's like I don't need as much as I used to. Yeah, think I don't go that out to eat. You know, I go to the grocery store. That's it. So no Super Bowl for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> For thousands of dollars. Yeah, they want thousands of dollars. So the worst seat, I, this is what I think, the worst seat in the house is probably a, a few grand, you know, maybe two, three, four thousand dollars. Worst seat in the house that you'll probably sit in the seat and watch the game from your phone. So yeah. you can, <laughs> so you can see the game. Yeah. <laughs> so what type of amenities do you have here? Amenities? There's a, a, a washers and dryers. Can you show us that? Yeah. All right. What else do you have? Do you have a workout fitness center here? No. Interdeck Cafe? No. With computers and things like that? No. What about your... And he doesn't even let us have wireless, you know? I mean, we could buy it ourselves, mm -hmm. but I don't have that kind of money. Gotcha. This is a good neighbor. See, the reason I stay here is there's quite a few people that I really like. So I don't want to move. And you know, they've suggested, you know, senior housing for me. But I like being around the children and the, and the different people. Gotcha. But see, this is where the sewer comes up. 
right in front of her house, it'll make a little lake, and then it comes into through the pipes so to the, mine. So you're saying that right here, sewage comes and fills this area that yeah. I'm standing on? Does it? Yeah. And then it goes... Raw sewage. It'll make a lake at her house. It comes up from the up from the tub and up from the toilet and it'll flow out and then it's everywhere in my house. It does the front room. It does, um, sometimes if it's really bad, it gets to the kitchen. He'll send this guy over with a vacuum, you know, wet vac. But there's no bleach, no, you gotta do all that yourself. And I have sheets and blankets on my couches and he won't clean, to clean he won't pay to clean those either which I think he should, but I, I was up in the top apart, uh, on the second floor, but I've been in this apartment maybe three years, three and a half, and it's done it quite a few times. I can't count, but I'd say more than, more than 15. Wow, so a few times a year, a good? Yeah. Four times a year? At least. Wow. So that's what I, I, I mean, I would move, but I'm too, I'm too old and lazy to move. Got you. Oh. And this is your swimming pool right here. Right. This is where you uh, come and get some of your, uh, swim your laps every morning? No, I don't. I never <laughs> touched them in there. No? Are you serious? <laughs> but you know what people do in pools. <laughs> I'm not going in there. I don't care if there's a ton of chlorine. I'm still not going. <laughs> Hi, Annette. Under the and nice palm the, trees. That's the laundry room there. Hello there. Hello, Annette. Right there. This is super. Huh? This is super, Annette. Hi, His Annette. Nice super. to meet you, Annette. How many washers? Uh, are buck seventy-five a washer. Yeah, so this is, it's, it's not bad at all, and not too many people bother your wash. Nobody bothers your stuff like no. Nobody's going to take your clothes out of the you middle of the cycle. You can leave it in Got you, got And you. put their own in. Unless you're male and everything. What, what do you have? A oh, I'll bedroom, show you. A one bedroom. bedroom. It's really a mess. Uh, be me back. Are you still married? No. What happened? Uh, you got rid of that guy? Well, he was a cheater. So what, what can you do? BB, come in. Or come here. Hey there, BB. <laughs> You've been keeping uh, Miss Deborah. Just fine. She said things have been great since you. Yeah. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's that? That's a that's peen. Like a ball peen hammer. Uh-huh. Because she's about as stubborn. As I am. <laughs> peen, peen, stop it. So what do you have here? One bedroom, two bedroom? One bedroom, one bath. One bedroom, one bath? One bath. And the normal price for a one bedroom, one bath is what? Um, I think the price now is like right around fourteen hundred. I don't really know. Fourteen hundred for a one bedroom, one bath. That's why you're saying that you're paying with your subsidy. I'm only 30 paying thirty percent of my income, which is like uh, five hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. So and they're the raising it. And the government is paying the rest. Pain, stop it. That's enough. Come here. All right, so this would be, so basically you have to try to fit your things in here because it's kind of a smaller space. Yeah, and I've got, you know, I, I've got a, I, I sometimes hoard. I try not to. And then my son's helping me clean up. Baby, mm -hmm. no, no, no. I have a hard time throwing things away. Do you? Yeah, but still... I'm working on it. My son even, I, I even allowed him to throw away a few pennies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I pick them up off the ground when I'm walking. I pick them up off the ground, too. <laughs> and whenever I find money on the ground, I, I thank God. I say, thank you, God, because he's giving you free money. Yeah. So, okay, so this is your living room? Yes. Have you ever, has your hoard ever gotten more than this? Yes. It's, it's been like, it's hard to even live here. What's yeah. the, what's the, how congested have you had uh, this house? Is this the most that you had in this house right now? Yeah, and, and when I was living in El Mirage in a house, I wasn't a hoarder, you know, but I, I was pretty fluid then, you know? I wasn't so poverty stricken. 
you know, stupid things that don't really matter. Now tell me about the sewage and everything. Okay, okay, so we had a blanket and a sheet on here, okay? Nathan's already washed them, but, and they hung down to here. And so the sewage came through this wall, underneath the wall. Underneath the wall. Yes. And it, um... Now when you say sewage, Deborah, when I think of sewage, I think of... Raw sewage feces. Yes. Yes. You're saying that comes into your home? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And it covers the entire floor? No, it'll probably come out to about here. Once in a while it's come around and gone into the kitchen a bit. But that, I think that only happened one time. Okay, but, and you could count on at least four times a year this happens. And I they would say so. And they haven't fixed the problem? No, I thought he fixed the problem. He said it cost him a whole bunch of money, but then it happened just like a week ago, two weeks ago. It just happened again. Mm-hmm. You can see right here, this is a tide line. See that? <laughs> So that's where it was, it's pretty high when it comes in. Well, you know what happens is, you know, the water creeps up once it's attached to the, you know, got in the wood, then it'll creep up. It's usually only like, you know. Yeah, too much to be in your apartment. Yeah, and then it, um, the bathtub is stained so severely. I never take a bath because it's like plastic stuff, you know, when people use Comet or cleanser on it, then it scratches us and then, um, uh, bacteria starts growing in those little tiny, tiny crevices that have been scratched with that fiberglass. And that's the stain there that you were talking about? Yes, and it comes up and over. Mm -hmm. And it comes up and over the toilet, too. Oh, wow. What's all of that back there in the corner there, too? Yeah, that's um, leakage where it's leaked. Now, the man just came and did the, because I said, you know, the, what's that called? Grouting? No, um, uh, when you put that white stuff down to uh, keep leaks out. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I'm sorry. So that's basically how they treat the leaks for you. I yeah. think that you may need a new uh, bathtub. I think so. We've got bugs too, so I've got um, uh, stuff for that in here too. What kind of bugs? Uh, roaches. Do you? Does, yeah. Is that prevalent in this apartment? Yes. Place? In fact, uh, two neighbors right next door to each other um, because we belong to... Good Health, United Health, and they'll pay for um, the people to come out the pest control. I think um, these roaches are immune to blend because it doesn't seem to affect them. So and basically this place needs to be fumigated and they need to uh, fix the sewage problem this year. I think so. Yeah. yeah, see it comes under here, goes under here, and goes through the wall and then comes out the other baseboard. Mm -hmm. Scocking. Cocking. Got you. <laughs> Got you. Right. Old people, we lose our words. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Sixty-eight. Hey, you do it well, Miss Deborah. <laughs> My son's fifty. <laughs> Is he? I'm fifty. Well, I'm forty-nine. I'll be fifty this year. Yeah. This summer, yeah. Yeah. And then this is your bedroom here. Yes. My God, you have a big bedroom. Yeah, it is quite big. It's a bit messy. You see all this stuff in boxes and things. All right, and then you got a pretty big size closet there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my son even bought me that new mattress. That's one of those mattresses that you fold up and they come in a, like in a package like this. Then you unfold them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, Miss Deborah, how do you uh, use that dang old shower in there? Are you do you use your shower at all? Yeah, I use the shower. That's it. I don't use the bath. So you just so because uh, I seen the washroom call in there. So you just squeeze in there. Yeah. In in between that and the washing machine. Oh no, I move it out. Do you pick up the washing machine every time you shower? Yeah. So every and, single day. And it's not when when it's not um, have anything in it. It's very light. It's plastic, you know. Okay. Not metal, it's just plastic. All right. What do you think of the area? The area? I tell you, people say it's, it's a little dangerous here, but I've walked this little girl, you know, because old people, we wake up in the middle of the night 
and I want to take her for a walk, I do. Two, three o'clock in the morning. I've never had any problems. So, and it, it, everybody knows her. Mm -hmm. And even if I walk, like I can walk up to the cemetery, I walk up to the cemetery even, but I don't go in the cemetery at night. Because the man doesn't mind if I go in in the daytime, you know. But I don't go in at night because I don't want to, <laughs> you know. And he was telling me since these problems started with COVID and things, more homeless are sleeping in his areas. Are you seeing a lot uh, more homeless yourself now? Um, you know, I don't really recognize them or know, you know, who is who. <laughs> She's savage, isn't she? <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. It's a little one. Yeah. Give her the trouble. Whenever I see those chihuahuas, I'm like, oh, man. But she's she's actually really come for chihuahua. Uh, I she's seen, like 12 or 13. Is she? Yeah. i seen chihuahuas really get riled up. <laughs> but not her. She cool. She cool. She was over in El Mirage with you, too? No, I just got her. The manager here um, gave her to me. So I took her. Yeah, I took her just for a few times while her mother was there because her mother didn't like the dog. So I, but then it was more and more, and so I said, I'll just keep her. And she was okay with that. And you're a native of Arizona? No, I was born in Los Angeles. Where are you, from L.A.? Yeah, but then my mother moved before I was four, so she moved to Las Vegas. Yeah, and then I married a military man. And um, he was just getting out of the military as I married him. And then he went, uh, Lockheed hired him, and we went to England. It was fun. You were in England? How long were you in England for? About 14 years. Were you? Yeah. So England, they speak English. Yeah. You know, you kind of sound a little, not really an accent, but a... No, I... <laughs> but I, I'll tell you one thing I like is in England, you can take your bog wherever you want. You take it on the train, take it on the bus. The bus, they say, I gotta put her in a crate. How am I gonna carry a crate carrying a 50 pound dog? You know? <laughs> That's what they say out here, to put the dog in the crate to get on the bus. Mm -hmm. I put her in my handbag. When did you come back to the States? Uh, just be, uh, maybe, um, I think we went in 1991 and we came back like in 2009, 2010. No, no, we were only there like 14, 15 years. So maybe 2006. Do you miss it? Yes, I do, I really liked it. Only thing is, I have arthritis. I hardly have arthritis here at all. You know, I was on um, pain pills every day in England. Was it much colder there? Uh, yeah, it's cold, but it doesn't really snow that much. Because they've got that, I forgot what that, oh, Gulf of whatever, um, that current, it comes up around England and it's warm water. So it kind of keeps England a little warm. Mm -hmm. And Scotland. Scotland, you over there too? Yeah, well, we, went, we didn't go to Scotland. I went and I walked Hadrian's Wall, though. Did that was, that's um, like 90 miles, and it's at the skinniest part of England, where, where Scotland meets England. Yeah. Hey, that's so awesome. So my dog then was Angus, and we walked. Baby, stop that. Now I mean it. Get up there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just get up there and stay. She listens well. She's a brat. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, so I, I did enjoy it. And I liked it a lot. All and, right. and I um, learned to play games online. I never did it before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you get online much these days? Yeah. Do you? All yeah. Right. I just got a new phone, an Apple. You got an iPhone now? Yeah, I used to have an Android. So I'm trying to figure out if my games will go over. Um, What's gonna... your favorite game? Merge Dragons. Merge Dragon. You have know you what? ever heard it? Nope. Uh, I'm, I'm addicted to a game right now. Which one? A uh, Royal Match. Oh, I've seen that um, uh, advertised everywhere. Yeah. Like I do br Be Brilliant. Yeah. You know, if you don't want to be addicted to a game, don't 
upload it to your phone. <laughs> Don't. Huh? Otherwise, you're going to be strung out like I am. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> you want to get home so you can sit down, have a beverage, you know, a nice, I like, we usually do uh, Sprite or something. I get to sit down, drink my Sprite, and play my game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do anything else. That's why this is a mess. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? You know, I understand, like you said, that you, uh, we all have our challenges and things that we have to face and uh, deal with, and you're dealing with yours uh, and uh, in the best way that you can, you yeah. know, as we all do. Yeah. So, you know what? I'm happy that you have a place over your head yeah, and I that do. you're making everything work for you. Yes. You know? So, thank you, Miss Deborah, for giving me a tour. I enjoyed it. And it really is a nice enough neighborhood, especially when you get a little ways away from here. But, you know, there's, um, there, there's been a lot of drug invasions where the police break open the door. That's happened that I know of three times and the police do break the door and go in. Mm -hmm. That happened here? Mm -hmm. Right here? No, not me, but... Or, no, not you, in but... In that the... building over there and that one over there that I know of, and I think one right down here. So there is a little drug activity here, but it doesn't bother me because I don't do drugs. Only my medications. <laughs>